weird. Why is this camera? I guess it's fine. I had to disconnect the face cam when I was setting up the keyboard and stuff and moving my PC around and etc. Um, God, I hate this new window. Oh, it's so dumb. Oh my God, I, I, I officially hate the new Twitch dashboard, FYI. I really don't want to fucking, okay, hold on, I have to, yes, like that, okay, that's better. Hi everyone, um, we are going to be working on day three of the 12 days of Christmas nail art as soon as I get a few things set up. Um, why? What is, what is this? Okay. So, gosh, I want to just, okay, we'll do it like this. going to do a tweet and a discord. Of course, if you are in the future watching on YouTube and you love nail art, please feel free to subscribe to my simple little pleasures. If you're interested in this should already be up like yeah no this should because now we're on day three and this is day two ha 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 um yeah and if you'd like to join me live on twitch you can come follow at twitch.tv slash clit mslp and let's get this tweet going uh hey son um uh, So on a scale of one to 10, wait, no, why did you make it like that? Don't do that. Um, um, on a scale of one to 10, how loud is the new keyboard? Um, let's do like this. Like that. And then, but not like that. And then like, also like that. Okay. And then we'll just copy this, copy and paste this and do that. Yay. And then go back over here and copy all that and then we'll go over here and we'll do a discord um, come on it's uh I actually do really like it it's like kind of taking some getting used to it's like I didn't realize until I got this how much I missed having a like a high profile keyboard high profile is that I mean call a short one's low prof profile but is high profile just actually regular profile okay <clears throat> yeah yeah um check out in gaming I posted a picture son although it posted upside down for some reason and the mouse has pretty colors. Hi, hi, Bane. The mouse has pretty colors too. Of course, you can't see because it's all lit up, but you can, you can kind of tell that it's glowing. Of course, it, it chooses to be purple when I go to show it off. Um, I hear you, buddy. What's up? You, you chilly? You want to sit directly right by the the heater? Um, I have an idea. Come on, get in your chair. I have an idea for today. I'm not sure if it's gonna pan out. Um, hey doc. It's, it's cool. It's cool. It was, it was a fucking pain in the ass. Like getting to like accessing the back of my computer is just really not fun. Okay. These buddies. Cause like we were looking at these uh like diamondy patterned ones 
I'm I'm not up for fucking around with that. I'm not. TBH. Okay. We have done the ornaments, which were magnetic. We have 10 days left, and I think the next thing that we're going to work on today is with the vinyls. Now these, um, there you can kind of see, these are two-piece vinyls. The one decision I need to make, I'm planning to use the outside the outside part is do I want to have this rounded bottom lip outside my cuticle or inside my cuticle like we're gonna have a base color we're gonna apply that thing we're gonna have an inside and an outside thingy but do I want the rounded bottom to be covered by the vinyl or for the vinyl to be like outside my cuticle that's what we need to figure out now I did have the thought that um, like blues and silvers might work really well for this. And then I had the thought that I wonder, like I kind of don't think they will, but I kind of like, I, well, we might as well test it. Like maybe I can use hollow taco. Like maybe I can like, like this kind of a color story. Like this is the base and then like this and this. But I mean, glitters, glitters are not ideal for marbling. So we gotta, we gotta investigate that first. Or, you know, maybe we can continue with like this as the base, but something else for the marble. And then I maybe could also use a, is this the scattered? Yeah, I could use the scattered to marble with. Although I've done that before. I've, I've also tested the linear, although I don't think I actually did marble with it. So those are the thoughts as they are currently in my head. Did I say hi, Doc? I meant to. My, I'm, I slept so poorly last night. I just... <laughs> I, I just, I'm... I'm so groggy. I'm so like muzzy headed. I'm so like irritated. <clears throat> hey, Mrs. Shredo. Hey, Karen. Yeah, I mean, I if I'm if I water marble with them, my thought is we're not gonna be able to do like petals. We don't need to do petals. Ah. Okay, like, I literally just, like... I, like, missed my lip and, like, on my teeth and, like, off a piece. Oh, my... Okay. <laughs> Man, I need to... I don't know. Guys, I, I need to just cross my fingers <laughs> that nothing goes horribly wrong. So, we've got some water from whenever we did this Monday. God, they still look cool. I I keep having corner chipping problems, though, you guys. And I don't know. I need to maybe just be more mindful of my application and more mindful of my top coat. Like, okay, I chipped off. A corner on this thumb you barely can see it I had the chip so I just stuck the chip back on and then you can see on this corner I just like painted it with black so it wasn't obviously missing and on this corner I did the same thing and then we got this little corner here too and again this is only two days of wear so I'm like mm, mm. It, it's like I'm having different problems with the peely base than I usually have with aunt aunt I just it you lose whole peelies unintentionally the peely base this uh little corner chipping seems to be my problem i need to i think what i really need to pay attention to today is wrapping sidewalls and tips that's what we'll be concentrating on today i mean once we get to the manicure <clears throat> which hopefully like if this if this water marble testing goes at all well we could just move right into the vinyls. All we'll have to decide is like what order we want to put the colors 
And like I said, how we want to place these vinyls. I think this is this is too dirty. Um, let's. I mean, I already use like slightly dirty ones for my to sit my acetone on, but that was like, I don't know. I must not have ditched it after last tutorial. So. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yo, no. That sounds that sounds like it could be a like a video game or something too. <laughs> like <laughs> like a sponsored weird little like flash video game. Karen. <laughs> yeah, I do have the closest of RGB. The the power of RGB, which is the close see this is why we can't talk and read at the same time. For anybody that hasn't seen, well, with the light, it's kind of hard to see. I'm not actually sure if my camera will. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's hold on. Ooh, ooh, it's so shiny. It's beautiful. Yes, the rainbow is actually moving. I can also, I could push a button and I can make it go in a spiral. I could push a button and make it go doodly doodly doodly. I like the I just like the the gentle wave of a rainbow though I can also like customize it I literally haven't gotten any of that shit and then we got the uh, the mouse also which also does rainbow things so yeah we's we's upgraded now we's we's fancy <laughs> hey Nisi Mm, keyboard twinsies I'm gonna try to be so careful with the Dr. Crotron oh my god I'm so nervous that I'm gonna I mean I could not tell you how many times I'd accidentally gotten like nail polish on my previous keyboard or you know whatever I'm gonna try so hard to keep this keyboard nice <clears throat> You can't type when the colors are moving. I guess it doesn't bother me because I don't look at it when when I'm typing. It's it's and you there is a button also like if you if you continue pushing that button or not there's another button there's a button that changes the brightness and you can like turn it off like at night like when I'm sleeping I just go ahead and turn it off it doesn't need to be sitting here making rainbows for nobody. Um. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, I just, I, yeah. But then, like, I mean, you don't want to get anything down in there either, right? Or how does that even, I don't know. Get, get back on there. Anyway, thank you once again, Dr. Croton, of course. And also, today arrived this little package. This little package here. Inside of that is the cheapy Bluetooth adapter that I got on Daggett's recommendation so hopefully although I am continuing with the keyboarding this like I said I would really like to do at least one more like run on controller and I and I would like to have be able to use my controller for other things too so hopefully that little bluetooth dealy will resolve controller shit okay let's do I still have Will is over here? I just want to make a quick black base on this test strip. Where let's go right here. And just see like if these will spread and if I can get anything kind of cool to happen in the water. This would be my first choice. If this doesn't work, we're gonna need to something. We're gonna need to something, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what the something is yet, but we're going to need to to do it. But I mean, I get some weird comments when I like on my my other Hollow Taco water marble. It's like, dude, this water marbling with her polishes is no shade to Christine. <laughs> like that's not that's not the intention. It's just like I fucking love water marbles. Why would I not water marble with something if water marbling is an option? 
Um, do I have word that is this the one I was using? Maybe I need to throw away some of these really gross orange sticks that I know I'm not going to use anymore because they're just too ugly to be seen on camera. No, this one's not too bad. This one's not very sharp though. Let me just give it a little, a little sharpening. Because you like to have a fine point, of course, for water marbling. Like an actual point. If I were going to make a water marbling tool, like I know there's like the what's up water marbling tool. I don't think that one has a sharp enough point. Um, mine would, mine would have to come with a cap. That's how sharp it would be. Like, uh, and also, okay, I was, I was complaining at the start of stream, but now there's people to hear me. I hate the new Twitch layout. I hate it. I hate it. Okay. Just, just so you guys know. Hi, yo. And, and good luck on your, uh, your willpower situation with the advent calendar. <laughs> okay, now we have a pretty nice sharp point there. Okay, get a little bit of acetone out here. Hey, amethyst. <laughs> That would be horrible. I did wake up coughing, but not because of anything that happened in the dream. It was like one of the, one of the times I almost started to drift off and then I like had a coughing attack and <sighs> my mistake was I let myself fall asleep for a little while after dinner. And then I woke up after like a couple hours, which I knew was going to happen. And I was like, no, it's okay. I, I just got some shit done, got the keyboard and the mouse taken care of and all that. And I was, I was sitting here and I was yawning and I felt tired and I got in the bed and I just lay there for, I don't know, like three hours, just like not sleeping. <laughs> um, uh, my test strips are made out of just like, uh, they're like the receipts that the library pu puts in your books when you, when you use this, when you have them, when you request them and they're waiting for you on hold. So it's, it's like a receipt paper kind of, so it's actually a little bit thinner, but that's part of the reason why I fold it. I also fold it so that it's like the right size to fit inside of the cup. But you can use just about anything. Hey, dorky digits. Till late at night. Wait, why? Wait, you can't, you can't watch them until late at night? Like, that's when you have to? Or you can't watch them till late at night? Like, that's when you want to and you can't. Am, am, is my sleepy brain complicating this? Or am I making any kind of sense? <clears throat> the end of my tea. It's, like, really almost gone. Okay, this black is, is pretty much dry. So... Like, I just want to see, like, will we, will it spread? I mean, kinda. I mean, you see, it's weird. Hmm. The blue has some quite large glitter chunks in it. A silver like if we pull like could I get like two drops each in here or is that just like not gonna happen hmm I mean I feel like this isn't going to look very good. I mean, they kind of spread. Oh, no. No, nobody wants that on their nail. <laughs> mm. I, 
I wonder what if I what if I is this like residue I'm, I mean the bullseye in the middle look too thick to dip in but what if I did just go ahead and dip it in the middle this the second round actually seems to be spreading slightly better but you can see how like now we're not getting very much spread because they're just I mean they're just too thick and glittery but you gonna spread any more what if I just go for it oh my god can you guys see how thick that is that's not an air bubble that's just polish oh wait actually it is an air bubble oh and it just popped <laughs> <laughs> um hmm. I feel kind of like the blue spreads best of them all the darker blue so I wonder Okay, let's do one more test and then we're gonna have to think about some different colors. Um, let's set this to the side to dry. Um, let me get another piece of paper here. Mm, I'm, I'm missing chat also in my distraction. I apologize. Oh no, Amethyst, that sucks. Perfect. <laughs> Not perfect. Did I say hi, Kitson? Hello. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I understand, Nabasinji. What you meant. Yeah, I know even the Hollow Knight has given you a few weird dreams, Amethyst. Or was that Sun? Who's who's dreaming about Hollow Knight? Worky lurky. That's fine, Doc. I know you were thinking about maybe streaming tonight also, so you might have some setup to do for that. Possible Dr. Crotron, Top Hat, Luke, uh what's it called when you play together co-op co-op things okay so out of all three of those i would say the blue spread the best so what would happen let's just see what would happen if we do the blue and maybe it's because it has the most colorful base and the scattered Which would be kind of ironic because my other hollow taco water marble was also basically blue and the scattered, but it was the royalty blue and the scattered. See, even the drop, excuse me, it got, I got like that little blurb. No, we're, we're going to have to go in a slightly different direction, I think. Well, well. Did I speak too soon? Is this doable, you guys? Oh my god. <laughs> Is this actually fucking doable? I 
I should have prepped this in black, but I didn't. Like, it's not the nicest water marble ever. I have very mixed feelings about this. Very mixed feelings. Oh, bo both of you. Oh, my phone. Phone, just like fucking get out of the way, please. Is that is that your work computer? Do you mean, Doctor Crotron? Is blue screening? <laughs> I think uh, actually, Doctor Crotron. I think my current computer is a Dell XPS. <laughs> <laughs> So when when my computer crashes when I try to play Destiny, please remember that. The desktop. The desktop of about five years ago. <laughs> um God, is it five years? It's it, four or five. I really should know this. I got it while I was still working my office job. The uh my friend the IT guy was like, Well, you know, if if you're not gonna build one, I guess this is okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. I, ju I just don't think that's what we want. It's, it's not, it's not giving me happy feelings. Um, I, I do think maybe we can still maybe sneak in rainbow snow as a base. Um, but we need to find something else to go on top of it. Now the question is, do we want to try and find something jellyish to go on top where the hollow can still peek through? Something like uh, color paints? Color paints doesn't have an actual blue blue what they have is indigo motif which I would say is the bluer blue and turquoise aesthetic which is a very greeny turquoise teal and I know they look super dark in the bottom but these, these are jellies I mean another option would be to throw in like purple might go good with the blue or the green might go with the teal I, I've used I've used the green and the red for Christmas before and I actually really am not a huge fan of this green for the holidays I don't feel like it's no we're not we're not using the green let's okay let's put this over here for right now Let's put this up here for right now so we don't risk knocking it over. Let's close these because we don't want to spill them. <clears throat> Way more reliable than the ones today. That's unfortunate. Like I I don't I I I can't I don't Perhaps I would be capable given enough like research and hand holding to build my own computer, but I'm not interested in building my own computer really. I like I don't it's not like, oh that sounds fun. No, it doesn't. Um and I know that this thing good good computer, use good computer. But like I know that this thing can't last forever. We're trying to figure out we're, we're doing vinyls today. We're actually doing vinyls today, but we have to figure out some colors to do the vinyls with that will translate to a water marble first. Because of course we do. Because that's, that's part of the complication and the fun. So today is the fourth. Hmm. 
Uh, this is for days three and four. What did we decide to call this shape? I mean, it's kind of like a bell clapper. It's kind of like a sperm. Not as spermy as those other ones that we used that were like curly. It's kind of like a, I, I don't know. Uh, we'll just, we'll just nail vinyls. <clears throat> Had to send it back twice because it didn't come with the GP. How are they just going to send you some shit that's not even the right? Wow. Purple Squirrel, thank you for the host. Did I say thank you, Basenji, for the host? I hope I did. Mm. Yeah, the green comes out like weird. Like it's it's a murky spring green. But how am I gonna stream building a computer if I'm building a computer doc? Or are you just gonna you gonna should I just send you money and then you'll send me a computer? <laughs> mm. A stiletto shape. It is kind of a stiletto shape. Um whatever works. I was that before or after I said just send you money and you send me a computer. Um, okay. So what I want to see here, let's just get some of this. We don't need like a super, it's like enough to give the general idea. Like if we use this as our base color, mm, are you guys getting much of this hollow? You're kind of, kind of. Ah, why, come on, please unhook. It, it's sparklier you know I'm, I don't want to quite turn off all the all the lights and stuff to do proper flashlight time but we got we got a lot of sparkle going on here so <clears throat> if I do like the, uh, the one of the problems would be okay if I do this and I do like with the jelly I'm gonna have to be really careful with the vinyls not to let the jelly pool up at the edges like in order to get a, a very uniform oh i wonder if sponging would work do you guys think sponging would work to keep the to keep the layer more uniform rather than painting it on i kind of like that idea i kind of like that idea Mm. Yeah, this this one is from the the holidays collection. It's just, I mean, it's just jam packed hollow silver. Oh God, even the even the t the brio is like, yeah, I can't deny this hollow. Of course, I don't. You know what else? What else would probably look really sharp? But I don't know if it would really look very holiday. Is if I just did like the silver and like a black. one coat black but th would that have any oh if i topped it if i topped it with like linear maybe it would Let, let's see how this looks first yeah no son all you gotta do is figure out like what you need it for or what you want it to do and then just figure out what is important to you like when i built this one i built it with um video editing in mind so i mean by today's standards it's kind of common am i going to be able to get this thin enough to Mm. by today's standards i feel like it's its specs are pretty commonplace 
Um, but, oh gosh, oh no. <sighs> but like back then it was like kind of a little, a little bit higher end. Too, like a lot of times they get you with, oh yeah, just buy like everything new. Get a new monitor, get a new printer, get like everything new to go with your new computer. <sighs> Beanie. And that's really not necessary. My last computer, the only thing I got was the tower. I'm still using, I'm using the monitor from my previous computer and the monitor previous to that computer for my two monitors. I don't, I don't know that the purple, I, the, I feel like the hollow shines through the purple a little bit more, but maybe that was also like a slightly thicker spot of hollow. The turquoisey teal. Mm. Oh, that's actually, that's actually very nice. Hmm. So we got like, still getting some of that hollow popping through. Maybe I should go with like the blue and the teal or maybe, no, I can't, I can't do all three of these. That won't, <laughs> that, that won't work out with the vinyl. That's not how it's, well, or could I? No, that would look silly. Would it? Visualizing. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that'd be the nice part. Yeah, silver and black feels more New Year's. Like, so silver and blue, like, I know that Hanukkah is, like, silver and white. So I feel like silver is a good stand-in for white. But I also feel like just silver and blue might be a little bit boring. Mm, do I have the glossy? Let me see what these just look with a little bit of glossy on top. Oh, that juices them up. Oh, I also feel like the blue and the teal would just kind of have wintry vibes. I, I think I actually really like that. I don't know which way I would want to do it though. So basically, so this vinyl that we're going to be using it's shaped, the inside is shaped like this. And then the outside vinyl like goes around it like this. So picture this on the nail. Now, like I said, the question is, do I want my cuticle here or do I want my cuticle here? picture like this you know this part is silver we're going to fill in this part and these two parts do i want a band of silver also at the cuticle or do i want the color to come up directly to my cuticle and how how long are my nails right now and would that even i feel like it's kind of whoa whoa fuck i thought it was still open thank god i closed this this made it all the way to the floor i hurt my shoulder i reached for it so hard and it was a false alarm um like if if we're looking at like how long my nails actually are right now like do i want it there or do i want it like there like do i where do i want to so like, would it be like, you know, like a nail like this? And I mean, like, obviously this is a huge chunky nail. Well, it actually would go up more like that. Or do we want it like, I don't know why this shape is, okay, that's weird and wonky. Or do we want the nail to come up like from here? Actually, I guess this would be more like I, I, these, I'm sorry, these, these illustrations are very poor today, you guys. I'm just trying to, like, work it out in my head. 
No, I don't think it needs a gold. Because, I mean, if you get too many layers, even a sheer polish, then the then the hollow is not going to sparkle through. Mm. Mm. Pretty and fancy don't have to be. Gidge's butt. You know what? Just for that, Gidge. Just for that... Uh. Hi, Gidge. <laughs> hey, McScooterson. Oh, it does kind of have some frozen two-ish because in her dress, is her dress still like this color? I, I've, I've never seen either frozen, so I, I didn't know. <clears throat> <laughs> okay let's let's try to draw more accurate nail shapes so let's let's start by drawing the nail shape is that about hey ish nail shape ish so we're either gonna have it to where the bottom comes up like that I mean really this thing's going to go off the edge either way like this or we're going to have it where it kind of comes like like this does that make more sense? So, like, if we, you know, let's, okay, let's just do like this. So we might have, like, the teal on the center and then the darker blue, like, on the sides, like that. Or we'd have, again, like, the teal center and then, like, darker blue. Okay, it's still, like, super shit drawings, but, okay, that actually illustrates it I think a lot better I think okay looking at it like this I think this is clearly <laughs> the better one so that the edge of the vinyl would need to be you know basically like the edge of the vinyl would be like coming underneath my cuticle instead of on top of the nail <clears throat> rather not either i heard they're actually like really good aside from the fact that the songs are just a little bit too catchy like people have said that they're good movies <laughs> 80 pop 80s power ballad hell yeah okay I, I think we want to go I'm leaning toward this route or another option would be well I fuck did Beanie like stretch and push this off or was it a ghost two other options I guess like would be um so we've got the thingy and then we've got the thingies would be like the lighter teal at the tips ish area and then the darker blue at the bottom or um just have like the whole thing darker blue I 
I still feel like I kind of lean toward that. Like, how thick is this going to be, like, compared to my nail? Like, the channels of blue at the side are going to be pretty thin on most of my nails. Which is kind of okay because the sparkle is showing up more through the teal. Okay. So then the question becomes, and I think I know the answer, but let's just check and be sure. Um, what we would do is we'd have a silver base, which we'll just, I mean, and we would go, we'd go fully opaque silver. Obviously this is just for testing purposes, a little quick swatchy swatch. Okay, very patchy, swatchy swatch apparently. Not not super cooperating with me here. Glitters. <clears throat> um, and then is this still got residue in it? There. With the scattered, I mean I could use something else, but I think I feel like the scattered would be good. <clears throat> probably ghost wait what yeah with silver between yeah so silver will be my base and then i'll apply the vinyl and the vinyl will cover the silver and we'll paint or sponge and i'll need to i need to test that of course i was able to get where did i just put it like maybe it won't be that bad to paint it on. I'm just gonna have to be really mindful. Like I said, I don't want it to pool or would it look cool? If if I could control it, maybe pooling at the edges would look cool. But if I can't control it, then maybe it would make more sense to just, I'm overthinking this. Okay, let's see how this goes. I know the color paints marble, but do they marble with the scattered? Okay. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Ooh, a little bit of pushback there. See how it goes out and then pushes it back in. Um, what is this? Eight. Nine. Ooh, why is that turquoise ring weird? Maybe we should end it on a... Come on, push. Push it real good. Okay, our center, our center rings got weird. You'd like, the scattered isn't quite strong enough to push it when it's that dense. Like, the outer rings are nice and fairly consistent. This is where it starts getting weird. So we might want to do something where like we take more advantage of the outer rings. Of course, now that we know it works, we can do more water marble testing like later. Hmm. Yeah, this is very doable, I think. Getting a little bit of drying at the edges. I should have just, well, I said we can do more testing on that later. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. See, then we would get something like See, and even like this, 10 drops is probably a little bit too heavy. You guys could not see that as much as I would have liked. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying full attention. Um, 10 drops might be a little bit too much to uh, keep it translucent enough to see the hollow underneath. So maybe I want to go for something more like 
eight drops or seven. Um, what do I think about the thickness of the lines? It, it's kind of interesting because actually, like the outside lines where they're pushed tighter, it also is more opaque. The, the center line where it actually didn't turn into a thin stripe actually because it's more spread out you can kind of see where did I hear can you guys see what I mean I hate this flashlight yeah like you, you're still getting some of the some of the hollow in between there um I, th I think this might be it. I think... Oh, the go yeah, okay. Yeah, I literally am like, what? That's promising. Do I want to stick with petals? Maybe not. What else? What I mean, we could do, we could do... We already did like just simple big old petals with this one. The magnetic one. Ooh, there you guys get some of the other color shifts. This man, that was a struggle. Okay, I think I think we're a go. I'm I'm not a hundred percent with that water marble, but we can work on that on Friday. Day four is gonna be on Friday. I'm gonna try to get home early from family stuff, but if stream starts at 8 o'clock I would consider that lucky and on the early side stream's probably going to start late we're probably going to I don't know what time I'll be home but we're we're doing day 4 on Friday chevrons could look good especially chevrons would even feel like it kind of went back toward this sort of a shape like not exactly but if I pointed them toward the tip of the nail like if we did chevrons pointing like that rather than like that way, like just all kind of. <sighs> that might make it easier. Of course, do I want to do like, no, we're, we're not overthinking the water marble today because we're not doing the water marble today. We're doing the vinyls today. Um. Yeah, okay. D oh where are my okay they're right here where are my 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 uh those might need that sucker too probably not but maybe or maybe I just need this guy <laughs> we'll see we'll have them all out just in case um yeah hey elise enjoy your lurk um so what i'm trying to do is every other day is nail art which is kind of getting me off my regular schedule um because usually saturday afternoon is nail art but if i do nails friday evening saturday afternoon is not going to be nail art um what is what is in here it's like a little it's a little teardrop um but I am streaming Saturday. Saturday is race night. And I'm kind of deciding if I want to do like some non-race night activities in the afternoon as well as race night. Or if I want to skip the Saturday afternoon stream altogether and just concentrate on like editing and stuff. Um. <laughs> the bright white. Okay, so... If I ever die, nobody will have to figure out my passwords because I'm old and they're all in this little notebook. I used to scoff at my mother for having a password in notebooks. I'm like, Mom! And now I'm that person. <laughs> Ooh, the swirly M shape. Oh, those are tricky, though. I don't know if I can manage that with these like these marble pretty well but the uh i i know the one you mean i've done like two t i did it with the red the dark reds and then i did the monochrome it's a it's a very precise and very picky 
I mean, it would be kind of nice because I did the one that like came from the side and then I did the one that came from like the tip. So doing one from the cuticle does appeal. We'll see. <clears throat> That's a cute one. Oh, it's a made you look emote. Okay, so, okay. We are not going to need that. We are not going to need that. This is the scattered. We're going to put this in the holiday box because we'll need that later. Um, we're not going to need the linear or this or this. We need the silver, the blue and the teal. We can put the purple away. Um, this can go back in the box. Um, I think I'm just going to paint. Am I going to regret that? Like, I want to... No, it should be fine. If I do get a little bit of an edge, I think it will be okay. I just, I need to be aware of it and try to minimize it as much as possible. <clears throat> but I feel like sponging might actually make it look more uneven over more of the design. Whereas if I'm just careful with the painting, hopefully I can get, like I can get a coverage that I'm comfortable with. Um. Oh, that's pretty late amethyst. Okay, silver, teal, blue, uh, super glossy. Um, we're not going to need the black. I had the black out in case we marbled with the glitters. Peel off base, even though I'm having somewhat mixed feelings about that. Just because of the, the weird corner issues that I'm having. So, let's get to peeling my current existing manicure hopefully hopefully it behaves <clears throat> yeah that sucks it's like hello did you know these people also would like to have a holiday um where's my edge there it is I, I don't, I wonder how this is going to come up. Last time we had some issues. So I'm hoping we don't this time. Hmm. Just finding the edge is proving to be an issue. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> Magnetic polish. Elise. Um, the fun lacquer magnetics. I, the, the ornaments are my favorite so far. Like this turned out, well, there you can actually see the magnetic. These are the same magnetics that we used for the ornaments. This, this turned out okay, but I don't, I kind of don't like it just cause it was, a, there was such a roller coaster of feels and emotions. <laughs> Like this was this this manicure was a rough stream. Like I had some real ups and downs on that stream. I mean, in the end it was wonderful, but man, if it's all about the journey, the journey was not great. Yeah, well, thing is, I mean, I used to always always do it late because I mean, I was doing it after work and before I went to bed. Um, you know, if you'd asked me, I would have said that I you preferred doing nail art later in the evening. Um, because I think part of my unsteadiness comes from my meds, and so it's like the closer to taking my meds that I do nail art, the shakier my hands are. And that's the end of my tea. But now, I don't know. I am more used to doing it in the afternoon. But also, like, I know a lot of people have been able to make it to later evening streams that might not norm might not normally necessarily be able to make an earlier stream 
<laughs> you felt that in your bones. Oh, gosh. How about that? Did you feel that in your bones? <laughs> you scream so late, no one watches. I saw you stream a real late last night, Squid. Did you finish? Did you finish your, uh, did you finish the diamond art? Too late for East Coast, too early for Europe. Cool. Is it a, did you post a picture in your Twitchkins? I might have to go check that out. All right, you guys, let's cross our fingers that this behaves and comes up decently. Oh, I'm not liking, well, I'm not super liking what's happening so far, but maybe it'll be fine. Oh no, that one was fine. Of course, this one, the accent nails had an additional layer of top coat added. So they're a little thicker, which is always a little better for peeling. I mean, you can, you can for sure see the difference there between just how the, how the peely itself behaves. <sighs> yeah. I mean, what's peeling is still peeling very clean. Like I'm not getting, uh, what I refer to as like the snotty leftovers that aren't leave behind. Yeah, see that one too. It was one of the uh, the ones that had an extra layer of top coat. Which, I mean, I don't object to extra top coat, but I don't necessarily always want to put on an extra layer of top coat just to ensure a good peel. Like if a manicure doesn't actually need it. Because this was several, I mean, this was two coats of Willa and then the water marble layer and then the top coat. I mean, like, I feel like that should be an adequate amount to get it. Yeah. The ones with extra top coat are peeling really nice. Okay. See, this one just made the lie though, because that one was a regular one. I don't know. Again, though, too. Oopsie. The, this this manicure that we're working on next will kind of be a good test because it will be, once again, mostly hollow taco on hollow taco products. Um, Because this manicure was actually, I mean, it was, you know, peely base and super glossy top, but it wasn't hollow taco polishes in between. Yeah, definitely squid. You suppose? No, show it. Show it off. That was a lot of... Did you keep track of how many hours it was? All right, Amethyst. Yeah, everybody check out Squid's Diamond Art. Is that the right name? I know it's Diamond something. Paint with Diamonds. Is that it? Yeah. So, oh God, this thumbnail break. <gasps> you guys. Ooh. Okay, don't, don't mess with it. Don't obsess. Is this all the cotton that I have over here? This one tiny little piece? We'll have to make it be enough. 20 to 30 hours, yeah. It's like a decent sized project. Yeah, if anybody does, in fact, somebody, son, give Squid a shout out. Squid did that all on stream. I don't, I don't think you did any of it off stream. Was it all, all on stream? All, all? Um, when he's not running Mega Man and setting world records, he's painting with diamonds. <laughs> and, and listening to meme playlists submitted by his chat. <laughs> like the one day was like almost all strictly weird Al. That was pretty funny. Oh, 
Okay, so we'll clean the underside here. Then we'll do some quick cuticle work. And then we shall move on. See, like, I mean, you can see we've got black on the underside. I'm wrapping my tips. I don't know why I'm getting so much corner chipping. I just don't know. Yeah, I feel like to me, I mean, I know they're not really the same, but paint with diamonds reminds me a lot of cross stitch because it's like everything is broken down to, you know, little, little tiny squares, like kind of like pixel art. Yeah, exa exactly. The number squid's like saying the same thing I am possibly before I even said it. Um, but yeah, I've like I've thought about like if I ever get back into cross stitch, which I mean I would love to. Like making my own designs. I've never like done my own cross stitch design or even like they sell books and stuff that have designs and then you are supposed to like pick out your own, you know, not necessarily pick out, but like, you know, uh obtain your own thread. And I've thought that it would be really cool to like make some cross stitch patterns or designs like how cool would it be maybe maybe it's just me but like to do all the hollow knight charms in cross stitch see i've got that it that's under that's under the break i don't think i can get that out without making the break worse so we're just gonna have some black polish stuck on my thumb for several weeks several more weeks i think this is gonna take to grow out yeah yeah from everything i saw i mean it looked super cool squid in fact i'm not doing anything that important let me go let me go look right now at the finished the finished thingy oh heck yeah that looks so good it, it it's it, looking at it now even more it reminds me of cross stitch that's that's really cool 25 centimeter by 25 centimeter. Where's my ruler? How many? Okay, 2.5. So it's like 10 by 10. Because it's what? 2.54 centimeters per inch. So I should just divide that by 2.5 and then you get 10. Yeah. Super cool. Oh, Squid, it's cute. It's cute. Okay. So are you going to do another one? Do you already have your next one picked out? Going to do some blinged out Mega Man. All right, let's get rid of these peelies over into the peely dish. And one of these days I should clean out the peely dish into the actual peely bag, but today is not that day. Already sitting on your table listen i don't know i don't but i mean i do happen to know that you like mega man i mean i know that you like zelda things i know that you like beating your saber <laughs> um i know you like hollow knight um Maybe, maybe you picked a Hollow Knight. Maybe you picked, like, Hornet in honor of Silk Song. I, I don't know. Wait, you like what a lot? My idea for you to do something Hollow Knight? <laughs> I mean, Hollow Knight isn't exactly, like, pixels, but I think it could translate pretty well because the the, the characters are pretty simple. They're not like, you know, super complicated and all that stuff, but they're still like detailed. If you do a fourth, that will include AKHK. And when are when can we expect Squid's replay of Hollow Knight? Oh no, I'm <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm gonna be all over that though. Just FYI, 
I'm going to be all over those streams. Because you don't stream too late for me. Because I'm a degenerate. Sometimes willingly and sometimes not. Okay, getting a little bit of cuticle hangnails taken care of there. You guys can't see that because I'm really not sure how the how the terms of service would feel about cutting my flesh off with a cuticle nipper, but you know. <laughs> uh, I swear, Twitch, it's not self-harm. It's just a manicure. It only hurts sometimes. It only hurts if you do it wrong. That's what she said. <laughs> no, let me quick quick cuticle like really two days is not a lot cuticles aren't going to get horrible except cuticles were not great in the first place so they just have like a little bit of residual horror horror she's never said that <laughs> hmm. yeah just need to get that uh graveyard shift son Tell them, well, you know, some people have battery emergencies in the middle of the night, and somebody should really be here to help those people. Silk Song is not confirmed a prequel. Silk Song is not confirmed fucking anything. <laughs> Only thing that's confirmed about Silk Song is its existence. I've heard that it's a prequel. I've heard that it's a sequel. I've heard that it's both somehow. Which would be cool because that would mean it's long. I mean, I already expect it to be long. Because if it's not long, then what the fuck's taking so long, Team Cherry? But, uh, God. Silks. I can't, I literally, like, I've, I've never, I've never gone through this. The closest I can relate to this feeling that I have for Silk Song is like waiting for a book in a favorite series to come out. Like, I've never had this feeling over a video game, ever. So, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Ugh, cuticles, please. No, you heard it. You heard it right, Karen. Yeah. Sometimes for hours. <laughs> the other, is that the other? Is that the one when I think I remember you talking about your company was like merging with another company? Is that the other division? Of course, I know you have your guys and all that stuff, too. If, if you had to get a whole new different team, that would be not worth okay so all the other nails have like this extremely minimal cuticle build up and then right middle finger is like hi I look like I haven't been touched in two weeks like literally why are you like this <laughs> I don't I don't know that I've ever actually caught one of Squid's saber beating streams. Do you do it do you do it in VR or do you just do it regular? I keep seeing I've been trying to farm me up some ad bits. I keep seeing this ad for for VR and Beat Saber is one of the things that they have on there that is VRable. If is that a word? VRable? And I'm like, I don't understand quite how that works, but okay. <clears throat> Wait a minute, what? Son, you can't just drop that out there and then not explain it. What? Hmm. You, well, your your dentist showed you what now? <laughs> mm. 
Oh, okay. So you, okay. You're not, you're not actually being lewd like the rest of us 12 year old boys here. You're being serious. <laughs> Actual Beat Saber. Okay. I'm going to just, oh, I'm just looking at this break. I need to get some nail glue. I need to like literally just take my ass tomorrow and get some nail glue or order it on Amazon Prime for next day delivery. If you have Amazon Prime, please consider using your Prime sub here. Ting! Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, nobody nobody was being lewd. It's just, you know, it's the internet, so there's always the possibility of someone being lewd. Right? Yeah, that's that's what I meant. Sure. Of course it is. What possibly could be lewd about beating your saber? <laughs> okay got a couple little little hangnails here you need an adult I'm sorry McScooterson there are no adults here except possibly Dr. Crotron if he's still at work then he's an adult or anybody else watching from work wait if you're watching Twitch from work are you an adult <laughs> <laughs> hmm. the answer is maybe okay little little snip snip right there <laughs> I mean, if you're new to saber beating, I can see how it would exhaust you. I think before we start on the manicure, it would be wise to take a bathroom break. Or I can also give my nails just a super quick sugar scrub and help out with the sad dry cuticle syndrome that we have going on here. Partic I mean, just look at this finger like compared. Okay. <laughs> you play one on TV. Dr. Crotron, that would be so great. <laughs> like you would fit right in on those on those criminal shows. Hey, Athelus. We are we're going to be doing something with this maybe I should do like this um and these um yeah of course this is like anybody that doesn't know this is bling 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 Hollow really does lower your blood pressure. Can can I get a doctor's prescription for Hollow Taco so that I don't have to pay shipping? <laughs> I mean, really, I could just feel like all my worries just la la la. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes, especially when I'm streaming, I'm like, ah. Oh, I don't, I don't want to take a break and leave chat just sitting there. I can, I can make it. And then, you know, like we're like halfway through and I'm sitting here like everything's, everything's wet now. I have to make sure that my pants do not join the wet category. Okay. That's really nasty. I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, really, you guys have seen me where I'm like antsy, like it's time to end the stream now. Pshoom! Bathroom break. So we're not going to have that happen today. We are going to be grown-ups that know how to take a break and use the bathroom, and we're going to go do that before we start our nails. <laughs> yes. She, I mean, the lighting and the, mir the mirror drips, like the, just the, they're so good. P polish gasm all over the place. This, this is really good for this camera. Like, we could get a little bit more, too, if we like add a little bit of flashlight. God, there's so many rainbows in there. 
I guess that's why they call it rainbow snow. Wait, which which direction? That direction. Um, yeah. So let me find you guys some music so that you're not sitting here in silence. <laughs> oh. Um, good crest and son. Why yeah, we're not. Dr. Crow Tron reminded us not to be adults, in fact. Okay. What we are doing is being smart um, and taking a bathroom break pre-wet nails. Um, so I need about five minutes if you need a bathroom break or a snack break. Yeah, I'm sorry, son. Your snack break should have been now or whatever you took a break for because I may or may not have missed you saying that you were leaving. But um, quitting time. Time for Doc to go home. Have a safe trip home, Dr. Crotron. Everybody, go get your get your snacks and and have your own bathroom breaks and i will be back in about five ish minutes and we are going to do this and this and this and this on these so thank you in advance for your patience
I don't know where Beanie went. Um, maybe he'll return. I also decided I could really use some sugar. So, pink lemonade. Hold on. Get this glitter out of the acid humble. Get some fresh. Hey, welcome back, Benny. Some fresh acetone for cleaning out. And we're gonna be doing vinyls. So I think I'm gonna wanna do and don't don't my don't my cuticles just look so much better. <clears throat> I think I want to do the left hand first, top coat it. You want this like out of your way? I'm sorry. I I do apologize, Beanie. Is that enough room for you, sir? You you's good boy, Beanie. Hi. You gonna settle down here? Um, top coat and then right hand and top coat and hopefully by then left hand will be dry enough to vinyl <clears throat> mm. Okay. Mm. sorry for anyone who hates the chewing just need some sugar to power through <clears throat> hey LJ welcome we are already through with testing wow I feel like I cut my tongue on a lemon head how is that even possible like they're not hard oops Shouldn't have pet bean right before doing my nails. <laughs> getting, getting additional bean fur everywhere. Um, we already did the testing, so we are getting right into the manicure right now. And you just missed the bathroom break, so it's all quality, super high quality stream time from this moment forward. And I'm gonna be super mindful of my base coat application and the fact that we're going to have extra layers of top coat should hopefully help out with the peel for this one because we're going to do okay we're going to do peely going to do two coats of uh, rainbow snow top coat then the two jellies and then another top coat so that'll be five layers six five counting the base base one okay base one two top color top six five or six depending on if you count wait am i counting i i can't i can't even count to six right now you guys that's that's how my brain feels right now <clears throat> it's all high quality thank you lj I, I appreciate that. Sometimes, sometimes I'm like, hell yeah, this is, this is content. And sometimes I'm like, oh my God, please turn my stream off right now. <laughs> what do I even think I'm doing here? God, that bugs me. That bugs the fuck out of me. But we can't do anything about it without making it like anything we could do about it would not really be a good idea right now. It would just make the break worse. And it's like, it doesn't hurt yet, but like that, that's, 
that's flesh that's meat that's not where you want your nail to break <clears throat> hey rainbow wait which is a moon hmm it's the the feeling like everything is great or the feeling like man i should just turn off my stream Oh, the brain being blah. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better now. In fact, let me just do one more dose of sugar, you guys. Mm. Probably do not recommend having this many lemon heads in your mouth at once. Although these pink lemonade ones aren't very sour at all. Mm-hmm. They're chewy. I don't know if I prefer them to regular lemon heads. Because they're really getting stuck in my teeth. And I just cleaned off my nails so I can't like... So I'm trying to take like the wad that's left and use that to unstick stuff that's stuck in my teeth. So that's too much information. I feel like <clears throat> okay you can't see anything I feel like I definitely have a lot stuck in my teeth I'm like right in front okay. and this thing looks like a dental tool so I'm tempted to use it but I'm not putting that in my mouth but I just thought I would share that I'm tempted to because <laughs> oversharing is what streaming is all about <clears throat> okay <clears throat> Starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Hollow Taco Peely Base. And you can use whichever is your personal preference. I'm trying to be real mindful to keep this thin. And not go all the way to the edges. Like Christine even recommends like not going all the way to the tip I find that kind of hard to do so you know I compensate that by wrapping the tip basically you just don't want the peel off at the actual edge of your polish you want there to be that room kind of like I usually talk about with unt too that room to seal it in <clears throat> And maybe I can solve my mysterious corner chipping by just being a little bit more mindful about all that. Because the first manicure I had this on wore much better for many more days than the past couple that I've used it with. So I just would like to solve that. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay and like I said I'm, I'm gonna do the base on both hands but then we're gonna concentrate on left hand first and I need to make a mental note to like see what time it is once I finish top coating that hand and hopefully you know, this will be the first time I've done like vinyls or anything on top of Peely Base. Like with a ready for takeoff, it's the same thing. Like you do run a danger of pulling up your base. Ooh. I touched my pinky. I think it's okay. Um, like if your vinyls are too stuck. 
Of course, you don't want them to be not well stuck or they're not going to, you're going to get seepage underneath the edges, which is not cute. Although we will have a top coat layer. So if we need to do seepage correction, um, we'll be able to. Now I also, like maybe I haven't been super patient on letting it fully dry, but it looks and feels well. Okay, that little corner was not quite fully dry. So let's just give this another like quick minute to, to dry, to fully, fully dry. Tomorrow, so fr Friday is gonna be day four. Friday is gonna be the water marble. We're, pro we're gonna need to do a few more tests. So we did a couple, we did a couple tests attempting to use the glitters to marble and that didn't work. But the the two jellies that I'm using do work to marble. Like, are we gonna wanna try and get some of these thicker rings that are thinner, thinner layers where you can still see the hollow underneath? Or am I gonna wanna concentrate more on just having uh, good empty petals where the silver actually can peek through from underneath? Or do I want to go with like chevrons like we were talking about? Like I think just like a single clean chevron like right up the center of the nail would be cute more than like, you know, zigzag chevrons back and forth. Um, so we'll, we'll need to do a little bit of testing before we actually get to the manicure on Friday. Mm. Yeah, but the the one I just took off, I didn't do any shuffling. Although I was doing a lot of desk fuckery. <laughs> is that even like uh so like my desk is pushed up damn near completely against the wall cuz you know, space. There's maybe, you know, about an inch between the back of the desk and and the back of the wall, well, back of the wall, the 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 wall. And so there's a little cubby hole that my computer goes in and the cords have to go out the back of the computer and behind the desk to the various holes in the desk that stuff goes through. So accessing the back of my computer and threading cords between the desk and the wall is a pain in the butt. And that's what we had to do in order to get a shiny, shiny computer going. This pretty thing? Connor? Or or did we did you mean the water marble? This pretty thing. This is what we're gonna be working on on Friday. We're using these same colors, but we're not doing this today. We're doing nail vinyls today. We're gonna add nail vinyls next. Um I hope you're feeling well, Connor. I know you were very, very tired the last time I saw you, and I saw you doing also super sleepy any percent the other day. <laughs> And I feel you on the super sleepy thing because I slept like absolute shit last night. <clears throat> yeah, desk fuckery. Mm. Yeah, so for anybody, okay, we'll just turn that down a little bit. Anybody wasn't here earlier when I showed it. Ooh. We got, we got rainbows on my keyboard. Hmm. So yeah. And then once I, once I actually had access to the back, um, you know, I had to figure out, I was like, well, okay, there's six USB ports in the back. I'm like, which of these are 2.0 and which of these are 3.0 and what the hell is plugged into these right now? And for a while, I was literally like, oh my God, I don't know what this is. And then I figured it out. It was, it was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. <clears throat> yeah. And it's, it's nice. Like I talked about it a little bit earlier. Like I, I wasn't minding the low profile. I've had it for years. Uh, but I realized going back to this, that it's like, man, not as good. Low profile is not as good as real tall profile regular profile whatever you want to call it 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 just and plus this is just like so good it just it just feels really nice um 
so I'm look I'm looking forward to using it some more. I'm looking forward to doing some more keyboard practice. And uh, I think it'll be a good thing. Okay, so <clears throat> let's you know, I'm going to need to to figure out actually where can I where can I look this up real quick? Maybe on probably maybe actually on what's up nails. I need to see what this is called so that I know what to call it in the video. Do they still even carry these? Um, hold on just a sec, guys. I hate when stores only have a limited number of things per page and it doesn't let you select the number of things per page. Or maybe who was it that said they were called Stiletto? Is that what they're actually called? They knew the actual name? Yeah. 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 Okay. I think that was Karen. Thank you. I didn't even realize at the time <laughs> that you were telling me the actual real name. Okay, so they're Stiletto Stencils. <clears throat> was anyone mature while you're away? I mean, I don't think so. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, LJ. You are correct, Karen. These are stiletto vinyls. Can you guys see? We'll we'll see. They they may or may not be a hassle to take apart. I don't know. I've never used them yet. I I think I've given this plenty of adequate time to dry so let's move on to the colors <clears throat> for my base color today I'm going to be using hollow taco rainbow snow and then once I have the nail vinyls applied I'm going to be filling in with OPI indigo motif and OPI Turquoise Aesthetic from the Color Paints collection. And they should be sheer enough that you'll still be able to see the holographic sparkle underneath. <laughs> yeah, maybe we need like a crossover between Crow Awe and Crow Judge. The Awe Judge. So... Yeah, first coat, thin. I'm hoping we can get away with two coats. Oh. Um, just for time's sake. So I'm not trying to go super thin here, but it's easier to do a thicker coat on the second coat, I feel. Oh, so sparkly. I love it so much. I really, really do. And I don't feel silly admitting that because I know you guys know the exact feels. Perhaps now that we're to the application, this will summon Dino. I gotta be careful around the edges too though. Like when I wore the, uh, the rose gold, there were a couple spots that I was like, I was getting caught like in my hair because there was a stray little glitter like kind of hanging off the edge of the nail. So I don't want any of that. <laughs> oh. Phone flash would probably be better for this. In fact, you know what? Let's, uh, because I need to give this just a hot second to dry. Let's, uh, 
Let's do that. <laughs> hey kitty yeah butt spot had been quiet till connor got here okay that's a little bit more oh 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 yeah rainbows in the snow that's just one coat and I think I mentioned before that this is like not intended as a topper, but like if you can get yourself to have a light enough hand, I think you could use it as a topper. <coughs> Butterific. <sighs> Hollow's always best in person. Yeah, we can go for a second coat. Um, like, there are some tricks to, like, get it on camera. And different types of hollow show up better on camera than others. Like, uh, foils usually are actually not too bad, too. Um, like, they show up on camera pretty well. Okay, so... I think that's yeah we d I don't think we need a third coat do you guys I mean that's pretty Ooh. yeah that's good I'm just like I said I'm doing I mean of course it's you know recommended to do thinner coats but I don't think it'll be a problem slightly glomming the second coat. Just just a slight glom. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> hmm. Stealth Rabbit, thank you for the follow. Oops, do I have... I think I do have some glitter like just stuck on the side of this finger. Yeah, I do. Oops. Just like right there. Noink. There we go. And just trying to clean up around the edges as I go because it's easier to remove it while it's still wet than I mean normally I don't I've tried to get better but you guys know I'm just I would rather just go with the cleanup brush than actually paint neatly <laughs> butt tastic and by butt we mean butter I'm sorry <laughs> Yeah, really, like, at the tip, I'm also more concentrating than on, like, the nail bed. Because that's where you really, like, where your free edge starts is where you're really going to notice if you're not, if you're not fully opaque. But these are going to be pretty slender lines. So... I think it'll be fine. I feel like I've got kind of a lot of cuticle gap right here, too. Can I, like... Meh. I don't know if that was a good move or not. Mm -mm. All right. And I can tell even like as I'm going down that like it's it the, the glitter itself dries down pretty quick. You can tell as the finish goes from like glossy to like slightly more textured. 
as the uh, as the jelly. Well, in this case, it's a clear base. Um, kind of settles around the glitter, and the glitter kind of almost rises to the surface. Like, you see the difference between like the thumb versus like the pinky. I mean, the stump, thumb almost looks like it's already been top coated, but it really is just still wet. Whereas the pinky, I mean, you could tell it's tacky, but it's not like you're leaving a, a smoosh if you touch it. <laughs> Give this a second. Actually, let's fully... <laughs> rainbows I mean who who how who doesn't love rainbows who doesn't love rainbows <clears throat> an actual hollow Christmas tree like like a tabletop size one son yeah can you feel like you've made a huge accomplishment right yeah, the the formula does make <laughs> butt spot does love you. <laughs> ah, the butt moves. Um, the the formula does really make a huge difference. Like sometimes if you have just like a really loose watery formula, like you're you're out of luck. You're not gonna be able to do it properly unless you're like almost working with without enough polish on the brush to the fact where you're like leaving dry polished skid marks on your nails and not properly painting. Hmm. Or butt bubble. Mm. Yes. Wait, what is that one? I don't know that one. Oh. That that critical role emote fits right in with the pride emotes. I love the rainbow wings. I worked so hard to get those dang rainbow wings during the pride emote thing. Okay, the thumb is also now, you guys can see, dried down a little bit so that it's not looking so glossy. So now... What we're going to do is add glossy. It's the super glossy, right? Super glossy, I think, definitely does dry faster than regular glossy. A couple of my... Okay, I'm like rambling with the, with the camera recording. A couple of my repairs, I topped the repair with just the regular glossy, and I don't feel like it dried as quick as the super glossy. So I will take all my chemicals. Yes, please. Excuse me. In order to have extra super quick drying <clears throat> we're all butts I mean Gidge are you still here I know you would agree with that I mean although I don't feel special anymore Gidge because I see that everybody just that's just commonplace in your chat everybody's a butt I'm not a special butt I'm just, I'm just another butt in a sea of butts. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we don't need to talk about this. We'll just slip it in there like that and go along here. So now these also like they do like the glitters do like two coats of top coat so the second coat which will apply after the jellies will help to really smooth it out this one is mainly just for the quick drying purposes although they're not like they're not bad after just one coat they're not like some glitters it's like you actually you need that second coat. I would not say that the these holiday collection glitters need the second coat, like 100%, but they do, they definitely do benefit from it. And as we were discussing when we were peeling off the water marble, the peelies also benefit from it. So there's that. <clears throat> mm 
yeah oh my aunt still almost every holiday when we get together and she's there she she's like oh these new polishes <laughs> she's just like unimpressed with all the new polishes she's like give me those old polishes packed with chemicals I think she only wears like OPI. It's like her brand. And like I talked about last time, I saw a review. I didn't actually watch it on YouTube, but I wanted to watch it. Maybe I'll find some time to squeeze that in. But of the new Sally Hansen, God, was it pure? Like, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't need nor expect my nail polish to be pure. We're not drinking this shit. Your, your nails aren't like, I don't know. Yeah. No, nobody that ha, that had, you know, been wearing nail polish back when there was a whole bunch of chemicals in it. Like, well, I guess I don't know this for sure, but I don't see anybody walk around with their nails just like falling off from having worn a lot of polish in the 80s before companies got on all this three free, three free, five free, seven free, 16 free bandwagon. What time is it? It is 7.34. The pinky is already almost dry to the touch. So by the time we finish my right hand, hopefully this left hand will be dry enough to apply nail vinyls on, which these are a little bit hard to see. There we go. These are a two-piece vinyl, and we're going to be using the exterior like outline piece to do <laughs> let me show you my little anybody that's just showing up to do something along like these lines so this the part that's like white will be the vinyl and we're going to place it so it's right below my cuticle and then we're going to have teal and then we're going to have dark blue on top of the hollow and they're going to actually did that even show uh they're going to look like that which is like not super coming across. We're gonna we're gonna strive to keep the jellies as thin as possible to let the hollow look through as thin as as to let the hollow shine through as well as possible. We're going to keep the jellies as thin as possible. The turquoise and the blue, not the purple, unfortunately. Although the purple, I mean, you guys know I love purple. Um, this also like this is only one coat of top coat so this has a little bit of texture more than the finished manicure will have and a glossy finish always brings out like there are actually once once i get this hand painted i'll do you guys a quick side by side um but you know glossy always makes the hollow more i think more hollow <clears throat> yeah yeah, some somebody at her in Discord. <laughs> at Painted Dinosaur, where are you? We need you. She never, she all, she always comes around when I'm not doing hollow, and then she's like, "But Colette, you should put hollow on it, and you should put a rhinestone on it, and wouldn't it, wouldn't it just be better if you just added a linear taco on top, and then, and then I do this, and it's like, where is Dino?" <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah e exactly kitty it's not like I don't know I mean your nails are a part of you but they're not like they're not like your skin they're not like your eyeball they're not like the the what, what the mucous membranes inside your nose or inside your mouth they're not like all the chemicals and shit up you know, the worst part about the chemicals, in my completely unmedical professional opinion, or not professional, unprofessional and unmedical, would be inhaling the chemicals, which is dumb because you should always work in a well-ventilated area and you shouldn't be huffing your nail polish, people, in case you don't know that. <laughs> yeah, there's no polish like hollow. I'm clicking my heels here. Oh, you guys could tell because like the whole desk is shaking. Fuck. <laughs> mm. 
Hey, Darth Morningstar. Exactly. You can never have too much Hall. And you are also, somebody posted on a, one of the YouTube videos with the Hall of Taco. They were like, oh my God, I just got my shipping confirmation and I'm way too excited for a 50 year old woman. I'm like, you are never too old to get excited about Hollow. Don't let anybody lie to you. You are never too old. Yeah. <clears throat> Buttsbot. Buttsbot's like Buttsbot woke up and is making up for lost time. <clears throat> All right, Amethyst, thank you. <laughs> no, God, if I'm not still in love with Hollow when I'm 80, I think I'm, I've done it wrong. I mean, you don't fall out of love with stuff that you like. Well, maybe that's not always strictly true. I mean, I don't, I don't have a desire to, to, to purchase Barbie dolls any longer. But, you know, I'm pretty, you know... There must have been hollow things when I was a child back in the back in the day, mind you. But I don't know if, if like that was a word that was used. You know what I mean? Like holographic. Like when did I first learn about holographic? I mean, I first learned about holographic nail polish when I started blogging. One of my, <clears throat> one of my, <coughs> Okay, hold on. <clears throat> One of my very first online hauls, thank you for the follow, Darth, was the China Glaze OMG collection, which I still, by the way, I'm so irritated that they only re-released half of that. Like, what the actual fuck, China Glaze? And that the dark purple one was not included among the re-released colors. But anyway... I ordered that and their other holographic collection, which I don't quite remember the name of, which was a little chunkier and a little bit more scattered rather than linear. Um, but those were not like my first hollow polishes. Um, now that I actually really think about it, because I already had some of the original Sally Hansen nail prisms, which were hollow. And I don't really remember when I got those. Hmm. Hmm. On this day in Polish history. But yeah, like, so there must have been like hollow things when I was a kid, but not like it is today, which I mean, I don't know if we can 100% give credit to Christine, but probably like 75% credit goes to Christine. Yeah, well... I mean, Lisa Frank stuff was a rainbow. I don't remember having hollow Lisa Frank stuff. I've still got some of my Lisa Frank folders from the 80s. <laughs> a mental age testing guy at 12. Mm. Yeah, and sometimes that's like, I don't know. And anybody that's a hater on anybody, like, my, my mom sometimes falls for that. She's like, well, I'm too old for that. I'm like, well, if you think you are, you are. Wait, is this, should I give this another minute to dry? Yeah, I should. And, and sometimes I'm able to change your mind. Like, she used to think she was too old to wear, you know, outrageous colors of nail polish. Like, she would borrow nail polish from me and it was like pink, beige, sheer pink sheer beige and then it's like you know gradually like you know moss green navy blue you know it's like yes a couple times she even like did her own stamping did her own little sponging like hell yeah mom and i mean i've done her nails a couple times you can see them in my 10 year anniversary video exclamation point 10 <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, people still hollow, iridescent, multichrome. Like some people can't tell. Sometimes I can't tell the difference, but I try real hard. Exactly, Conra. <gasps> Hawaii has hollow license plates? Or do you mean rainbow? 
you probably mean rainbow. Because <laughs> if they have hollow license plate, then like... Hmm. Are we thinking of the same Christine? I'm thinking of Christine Simply Neological that made this. So if you're thinking of her, then yes. And if not, then no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. This is uh. what is this? Ooh, careful. Rainbow Snow from the Holiday Collection, which is all like, they're still here. They're all fucking. We were gonna do this, but I, I couldn't figure out how to translate these into water marble because they're just, they're too thick and glittery to water marble. I suppose I could have done like maybe a gradient, like a glitter gradient underneath and then like done a, whoopsie, sorry guys, like a black and clear or a white and clear marble on top. Um, it's called taco because she at some point started mispronouncing top coat as taco and rolled with it and now has a company. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like I, I've, uh, yeah, th that's goals. Like, let me get a hollow car, I'll be happy. Like, that'll be the last car I ever need. But you would be sparkly, yeah. Can you only pull off black or silver, or just have you convinced yourself of such? I do think different colors do look better or, you know, maybe not as flattering on some people, but I think people can can pull off more colors than sometimes they give themselves credit for. Yeah. Yeah, Conra. And even, can you guys see the top here? So the top is like a, a taco and then like half of a CD. Because, like, if you look on, uh, you know, Twitter or whatever, like, a CD is basically the symbol for holographic because CDs are rainbow. On on the bottom, obviously. All right, get going with this second coat here so that we're not forgetting that we're supposed to be doing nail art here and make sure that we're fairly opaque. <clears throat> Yes, and if you if you have hollow, I mean you're rocking all colors. Cause rainbow. Okay. I'm I'm I'll confess to you guys. I'm I'm having that doubtful feeling again of of like am I sure about this but we're, we're just gonna push forward with the plan as we have planned it I'm not gonna change my plan mid plan <clears throat> hey Christina welcome on in we are gonna be doing some nail vinyls and we're gonna be doing oh this the camera's doing weird things over here oh. okay I need to be I need to be careful when I reach for my mouse during stream because I don't want to get nail polish all over my new mouse but why are we getting really weird? Let's do that and see if that helps. <clears throat> uh, we're going to be doing nail vinyls on top of this and then some jelly polishes so that the hollow can still peek through. <clears throat> Switch to mobile. All right, the amethyst. Yeah, I think, I mean, like for myself, like I think yellow, if it's not like just the exact perfect yellow looks kind of weird on my skin, but even within, like within a color like yellow, like you can have so many different tones, um, you know, like a warmer, yellow that leans almost a little bit orange or a cooler yellow that like almost leans close is like as close to green as you can get and not be green and still be yellow 
so I think and that that kind of goes back to like when they used to talk about like uh red lipsticks being warm or cool I think you need to figure out like if warmer or cooler suits you better but I also like even if I think it doesn't look super great on me sometimes I like the nail art is worth it like I'll do something in colors that aren't usually my colors because it works for the nail art and then I do my nails so often that even if I end up not liking it on myself like well it's only going to be there for a few days you know three four days tops two days this time of season because for those that do not know or for those who are just joining us the 12 d-o-c-n-a in my title is the 12 days of christmas nail art um which will be going up on youtube what do we just did i decide we're starting on the 12th or the 13th or maybe the 11th about a little bit over a week they'll start going up on youtube so this is going to be the third day of the series <clears throat> Aw, that's nice. Hopefully, hopefully that's nice. Not just that he wants to like blow his nose on you or something. Okay, that's a little weird crusty bit. Came off with a lid, I think. I'm gonna give this just another quick minute to dry before I top coat it. And then, okay, it was 7.34 when we finished left hand. So this should be dry enough to vinyl. I think, yeah. Without, hopefully without peeling up, we'll see. Mm. <laughs> yes. That's a little bit of a, let me see if I can get this off. I also, I'm looking forward to seeing what's in your advent, your advent nail polishes, yo. That little Santa bag that they came in is adorable. Okay, that doesn't want to come off. Let me just grab. Oh. Glitter is so stubborn. There. Better. I actually did like a fairly neat job on this hand. Alright. Oh no. Crusty, get off. Um, tweezer. It's off of the lid. Okay. Crises averted. And I'm trying to do my sides and my tips so that we hopefully don't have any more chipped corners like I've been dealing with. I gotta go run errands tomorrow and few things more irritating than chipping a nail when you're not at home and you can't like fix it right away so these nails need to behave i mean that is kind of the price you pay for peel off but i don't know i know it's capable of better because the uh the collection box inspired manicure lasted just just fine Ooh, is that that van again? I don't know who drives this van. I mean, like, obviously one of my neighbors, because I keep seeing it, but, like, I don't actually know which neighbor it is. Because, like, I think even if you are, are inclined to, like, know your neighbors, when you have D-Gen hours, it doesn't work out. Mm. And I'm not inclined to anyway, and I have D-Gen hours, so, you know... I was supposed to show you guys top coat versus no top coat, wasn't I? I'm very belatedly realizing this. Oh, well. Sorry. Sorry. Daily starting the 13th. Hell yeah. Wait, so you... It's not a full... It's not a full month advent. So you, you don't even get to start right away. Like, you really gotta do the willpower thing. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure a while yet, Amethyst. I mean, when when do preteens technically start? Like 11 or 12? 
Isn't that when kids get weird? Mm. <laughs> 48 pounds of sass. Okay, so it is 7.53, so we're almost a full 20 minutes out here. So what is going to be best? Like, do I want to go straight for tweezers? Do I want to go for the spatula? I could do... Oh, is that center really going to be a dick? Am I going to need to, like... Like, I feel like it would be easier to get the center part out, but we don't want the center. We want the outside. So is the outside going to be... Oh, no. Oh, God damn it. I... Okay, you can barely see it, but, like, you can see it on the tweezers there. I made a hole. This wasn't fully dry, and I made a hole. Gotta fix it. Okay. God, Poe little right thumb. Poe little right thumb. Just straight in there. I mean, it'll be fine. But, like, seriously. Can I not fuck up my right thumb for one manicure? There. <laughs> Wait, 14 is preteen for boys? Or that doesn't make any sense. You mean 14 is when boys get weird. Okay, we're just gonna like glom that on like that there like it never even happened who is that state farm <laughs> this these slogans i was just trying to figure out like this is gonna be awkward more awkward than i planned because like the center doesn't want okay they, wait there we go All right, so this is what we're going to be sticking on my nail. And I'm going to want to... Probably grab it from this side. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to... I don't want to scratch myself with my possibly wet nails. Okay. <clears throat> so... We'll just have that one ready, so we'll at least have one relatively quick one for the tutorial, and then we'll see how much of a struggle bus the rest of them are. Mm. Let me, I need more, I need more lip balm. Let's see if I can do it without getting it on my teeth this time. Mm. <laughs> when they turn into horrid people. <clears throat> okay. I'm nervous about the vinyls. I'm nervous about if I've given these enough time to dry, even though it should be plenty of time. I'm nervous about applying the gel pol jelly polishes. I'm nervous about so many things, but we're just going to dive right in. So. <clears throat> I added a layer of super glossy taco just to help speed up the dry time. And once your base is completely click, completely dry is what I meant to say. <clears throat> the dream was satisfying. <clears throat> I added a layer of super glossy taco to help with the dry time. And once your base is completely dry, you can go ahead and add vinyls. I'm going to be using these stiletto vinyls from What's Up Nails, and I'm actually going to be using the outside of the stiletto. So I'm going to apply it, basically lining up the point on the center of my nail and the base right under my cuticle. And oh goodness, once I have them all applied, I'll be filling in with the 
OPI color paints. Oh, this is this is tricky. Maybe I'll do better with my finger. Fucking a. Like, oh. Hmm. Is that centered? That is not centered. I'm I'm so frustrated with this. This is way trickier than I thought because it's so loose. There. Hmm. Do you guys see how it gets like narrower at the tip? I, I don't like that tweezer. Can I pull this one just a little bit to the side? Like that. I feel like it's still not 100% straight. Should I cut off the bottom? I feel like that would make lining it up even more difficult. I don't know. I don't know. When the vinyls don't cooperate and you wonder what the fuck you were thinking. See, now it's stuck together there. Stop. Like that. Okay, that one wasn't so bad. Maybe it was just because my pinky's so small. That one was actually, okay, that was not too bad. Oh. Getting the little centerpiece not to peel up is tricky. Mm. That's that's good enough. See, like they're, I'm I'm gonna have to clip them. I'm gonna have to Ugh. okay I'll, I'll wait until I have them all on and then I'm probably gonna clip them though like the extra part is making them too springy too springy by half or maybe by more than half Is that? Yeah, that's straight. Like, actually didn't look straight for a minute. Or maybe if I just cut, like, right here. Like, that's... Yeah, that's better. I mean, basically, I think maybe anywhere at the bottom will allow it to lay a little bit flatter okay um, whoa. okay forgot to close that apparently it's my my gmail sorry Unanticipated problems. Mm. 
You want to get out of there? There we go. Like keeping it in one piece when applying it kind of helps to keep it like to be able to center it because I feel like if I didn't have it still connected it would just be very very wobbly like wobblier than it is already. But then like a little quick snip in the bottom section. Like you see how otherwise this part just wants to like boing. So like allowing it to do that a little bit rather than like fighting it. Okay. Ugh. Hey Daggett. Welcome. It is, it is, I don't know if it's a party yet. It's something. This one is really... Ugh, pinkies are so small. I think the pinky actually needs a snip here. There we go. I don't think the others need a snip there. Actually, maybe they do. Otherwise, it's just pulling. And then the other side is starting to lift a little bit. Like looking at it from... Uh, it's It's difficult to... There you can, well, maybe if I go, can you tell how it's like lifted just a little bit toward the tip? So I want to just like, and see how when I press it together, they almost like overlap just a little bit. Okay, I apparently need to close that right now because I don't want that popping up once I start recording again. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe your face sucks, Squid. I'm sorry. I feel so bad getting in on the bid Squid's face joke. But also it's irresistible. <laughs> oh, dag it, dag it. This almost blew away. I went and looked outside and the wind was like lifting it up and getting ready to blow it off my steps because it's fucking the only thing in the bag. Uh, but you know what's in there. What, what was that, Beanie? Okay. See, if I can... Can I get the angle to guys see how there's a little gap there like we don't want gaps gaps are going to be the enemy oh don't go crooked here and i don't want to spend like overly much time on this but it is important that they're as flat as i can get them and as straight as I can get them. I feel like the ring fingers may be a little crooked, but it also, because the glitter isn't 100% smooth, like that may be impacting how smoothly the vinyl will sit. On the thumb, I really... Look, you see there? You see how, it, like, there's that little gap in between? Like, we can't have that. That's not... Okay, we're just going to do like that. I think we're going to go a finger at a time. <sighs> yes, Dag, it's the Bluetooth.
<laughs> Bubba Fett nails. You know, too, I don't know. Do vinyls expire? My vinyls are not super new. Like, maybe my adhesive is just getting kind of old. This is why I was nervous. They're straight enough, though, right? They're straight enough. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> These vinyls were a little tricky to apply. I ended up giving them a trim at the top and at the bottom in an effort to help them lay flat. And I'm also going to press them as flat as I can before I start adding the colors. So I'm gonna go with the indigo at the tips and trying to keep it a very light coat so that the hollow can shine through and also so that it doesn't uh, pool up against the vinyl. Want it to be a thin, consistent layer. And then with the uh, turquoise or the teal, whoopsie, little OPI thingy there, we're going to go ahead and fill in the bottom section. And once I have that finished, I'll remove the vinyls and repeat that for all my nails. Fuck, come on, please. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, well, we're going to need some cleanup, but you know what? This is fine. This is Clark. This is 100% Clark. Like I said, trying to keep it thin, keep it from pooling against the vinyl. I almost feel like I could benefit from uh, like using a detail brush or something, but I also feel like that would kind of be a pain in the butt. See, we got too much down here. Let's try to wipe off as much as I can from the brush and then like wipe it away. And maybe I'll just do these one at a time because two at a time felt risky. Okay. What do you guys think? I think this is okay. Just okay. I mean, mostly okay. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. And I can't see if you're agreeing with me yet, because... You know, recording, concentrating, trying to go fast but not too fast. And if we get a little bit of bleeding, like I see a couple spots where we got a little bit of bleeding under the vinyl, we can touch that up when we're finished. Yay. The plan is working. 
kittens coming in with the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. We are uh, we're doing the thing, and and the thing is actually working out how I wanted it to mostly. Mostly. Um, like the blue is still kind of dark. Like I'm really trying to keep it as thin as I possibly can. But like the, the idea is turning out like pretty much how I pictured. Ugh. Just the keeping it really thin while not having it be patchy is kind of tricky. Also, there's a couple beanie hairs stuck in here, but I mean, that that's just expected. I hope you had a good stream, kittens. I hope you're feeling okay today. Almost done with this hand. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that this screams Christmas, <laughs> but I think it's wintry. I mean, it definitely has wintry vibes to it. God, look at these beanie hairs. Beanie hair. Beanie hair. Uh. All right, one more. The vinyls are kind of being more of a dick than I wanted them to be, but. Vinyls are always more of a dick than you want them to be. Let's see like that one. I feel like that one went really nice and it's almost like it's is the difference in that showing up on camera? Not really. Like if I can get it to apply thin, like on this side, it's easier than if I, it applies too thick to actually like stroke any off with that particular color, like the turquoise is a little bit more forgiving. I think. But also, I don't know, hopefully the taco will smooth it all out. Okay. Okay. Oh, super well. Excellent. Dreidels. Okay, good. Because I was thinking like the blue and silver is kind of like Hanukkah-y. And I know like teal and silver. Well, I don't know. But I don't think teal and silver is necessarily Hanukkah-y. Excuse me, and I think we're still getting enough of the shimmer of the hollow coming through, even in spots where the blue is maybe a little darker than I want it. Like, see how much darker that side is versus that side? Of course, you guys can't see anything. I'm nitpicking. Imagine that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't even know what I said. I don't even know what I said. Um, we do need to do a little bit of cleanup and we need to, are there a couple, you know, we didn't get barely any bleeding under the vinyls. Like right there, I see a little spot. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <clears throat> yeah. We can, we can go with, we can roll with this. This is acceptable. Actually, hold on here. I see a little spot. Whoa. 
a little spot on this one that looks like it actually needs some added like that are there any other spots like that no <clears throat> once you've removed the vinyls you can take care of cleanup and also if there are any spots where a little bit of polish may have seeped under the vinyls you can take care of that since there is a protective layer of top coat on there And of course, everything looks better after cleanup. Oh, these are growing on me. I love when that happens right away. Like sometimes I need a couple days for a manicure to grow on me, but these are like already growing on me. I already like them better than I liked them when I like peeled the first vinyl. <laughs> Uh, I hope this doesn't stain in my cuticle because several of them I like blurbed here. It's got like a little tiny moderate amount of staining. The, uh, the color paints are actually quite surprisingly pigmented for jelly polishes. I mean they are definitely translucent but if there were one area of my collection that I would say is lacking it's jelly polishes. I would love to have a have a more expanded selection of jelly polishes. I mean, I have a few others that aren't in this collection, but generally, like when I want to reach for one, this is what I end up reaching for because they're more top of mind. Like, I don't think I have another collection of jellies. So maybe one day one day of course I can't even I can't I literally can't even think of one that I would like have in mind like I know uh formula x for sephora had what do they call it watercolor collection or something but as we discussed the other day that collection or that brand doesn't even exist anymore so probably can't lay my hands on that I mean, I could make my own jellies, but as as cool as Franken polish seems and sounds, like that's that's something that I've been quote unquote meaning to get around to for like ten years and never did. The bottle that my uh, that my liquid latex is in is actually one of the bottles that I initially bought with the thought of Frankening. Yeah, we got a lot of cuticle stain with this. If I can just like really get in there though, I can minimize it. And I'll be I'll try to be more careful on my right hand, but <sighs> I don't know if I regret not using a like I feel like it would be I don't know. It still would have been difficult with a smaller brush. But maybe I would have been able to avoid getting it down in my cuticles like that. I suppose I could try with a smaller brush on my other hand, but I'm too lazy. Like, I don't want to... I didn't want to... Uh, I need more acetone. I didn't want to dilly-dally with as stubborn as the vinyls were being. Like, I didn't want the vinyls to pop back up in the middle of while I was painting. And, of course, obviously with the smaller brush, you can't paint as fast. Um, let me see if I can... I just pulled a little bit of cotton off of this Q-tip. Let's see if I can... Okay, this is old-fashioned style, you guys. to really get down in the cuticle with the point yeah that's helping a little bit see how now we've got like that like it gives you can get in there with a little bit more force and precision than you necessarily can with the brush if you uh, just wrap an orange stick in a little bit of cotton 
And then you just have this little, that little guy. Still not perfect, but yeah. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> and I missed a whole bunch of chat and I guess I was still recording and I didn't realize. <laughs> Uh, okay, who, who, what, what, and who have I missed? Um, will you ch chat? Will you please scroll? Uh, um, thank you for the compliments. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess when you put it that way, Karen, it does sound bad. Hey, CJ yeah yeah i can see that i would i would love to do like a really mercury glass inspired look i feel like maybe bubble nails would work really good for that <laughs> you know you can you can be a little bit of both on the holiday son instead of just neither hey music gal enjoy your car lurk also like i still haven't watched your vod because i have poor time management skills but the one thing I noticed when you posted your, your latest like macro shots is like you must have used such a light touch applying the pigment because it looked like you uh, like your pigment was only in the peaks and not in the valleys of the bubbles, which gave like a super cool look. I, I, I think it looked really super cool. I mean... I, I need to definitely play around with that some more. And I need to find my matte top coats. I don't, I don't know where any of them are. And I mean, I have like at least a half dozen. Mm. All right, LJ, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, we just, we're going to do the same thing on this. Ooh. I'm just noticing that my left hand is quite a bit longer than my right hand right now, but it should be fine. We're going to do the same thing on my right hand and then top coat everything. <clears throat> you're okay i I love your voice to text music gal that it took night night is nine nine <laughs> oh that makes so much sense music gal because it wasn't yeah i yeah the, the bubble nails are so interesting like with what they like make you think about and remember with the way that like optics worked work Not like they changed how they work like the one that I did that was like that like disappeared and it shocked me and then all of a sudden that I realized that that made perfect sense okay so we are once again in vinyl hell and trying to just like fucking get this on here straight okay maybe if I get a firmer grip and then I can the pinky is the trickiest one though so I need to just like cut the pinky some slack and just get it on there decently but not like that because that's not centered oh wait maybe if I go like this it'll be easier is this easier or harder don't don't stick to yourself uh Huh? No. I just want you to be... I just want you to be your best self, Final. I, I, I try to replace it, and every time I just replace it in the wrong spot. It needs to go more. Oh God, my my hands are getting shaky. Oh, come on, hands. <sighs> just just come on. We just we just got to get these on, and then like you don't need to do anything more precise this evening. good enough and I'm just going to kind of get them on there and then once I've got them all on I'll do the snips and then I'll give them a press 
as I'm as I'm applying them. Man, these little it's not Cricut brand, but these little doohickeys, which are made for like scrapbooking vinyls, really make things so much easier. I mean, they're still a hassle, but slightly less of a hassle. It's like it, I can't. Urgh. Like you don't want to grab it too hard because you want to be able to release it when you want to, but you don't want to grab it too lightly or you can't like actually position it because you have no, um, leverage. That's not the right word. That's, that's not... Like, okay. <laughs> it's just so frustrating. Maybe, maybe I would be better off just using my hands. I just, I don't know. Vinyls just, oh my god. See, and then it, when I tried to get it off, like it's too stuck to my hand. Maybe I should grab it from the bottom. Let's try that. Like this. Oh, that's super awkward, too. And still doesn't want to, like... It doesn't want to come off of my tweezer. Like, I've literally got it grabbed by the thinnest little bit of thing that I can grab it by. Mm. Hey, Gidge. <laughs> butt is butt. Butt spot, you are not wrong. You know, you guys, yesterday I saw not one, but two Gidge streams. It just, it's refusing to grab. I'm just so irritated. What if I grab you from this corner? Can you cooperate? And she was playing the KFC dating simulator. Well, and then she was playing Hollow Knight, but first she was playing the KFC dating simulator. Is that... If I can just, like, slightly... There. Good enough? Can I, like... Do, like, like that? There. That's, that's good enough. That's good enough, right? <laughs> Just, just fine. Everything is fine. Everything is good enough. Edges, please. And if you're looking at this and thinking, man, I never want to fuck around with nail vinyls. I think that too as soon as I'm done doing nail vinyls, but then I forget. <laughs> yeah, we're not special butts, Doc. We're just, we're just butts. Um, did that somehow magically just fall in the right spot? Almost. Can I pull it just like, like that? Yeah. Okay, two more. Yeah, somebody, somebody give Gidge a shout out. I, did you finish it, Gidge? I went to grab some food and then I came back and we had been raided into another stream. So I don't even know if you ever managed to hook up with Colonel Sanders. No, it's like, a, it's like, a, it's like a weird, I don't know. There's like anime Colonel Sanders and there's a lot of innuendo. And, uh, I, I literally, like, don't know how to describe it. It's so weird. Like, such a weird game. 
I, I knew that. I already knew his name was Harland. I mean, that's not like made up in the game. That's like for real. It's a it's an old timey name. I mean, I don't think you're going to meet too many kids nowadays named Harland. Although, what do I know? Somebody with kids. Are there any Harlands in your child's class? <laughs> if so, please tell them they are named after the Colonel. <laughs> your phone is about to die. All right. Yeah, Daggett, anime Colonel Sanders. All right, we're gonna snip the bottom. We're gonna snip the tip. I should be using my other scissors. <gasps> I should be using my other scissors. Other scissors. How could I not realize that this was a perfect time to use you? Eyeball scissors. Cause they're so easy to use because you don't have to put your finger in finger holes and they're like they're skinny and sharp oh no oh no oh no oh no it's in the wrong spot now oh no oh. can I just is it okay it's a little wider than it should be but I feel like it's still, we're, we're going with that. Poor little right hand. It's not, it's not just the thumb. It's the whole hand. Poor little right hand. Okay. Maybe I need to, okay. Maybe I need to concentrate a little harder on this part. There there the rest of these are okay mm. okay <sighs> yes son you are absolutely correct more tabs are awesome no matter what dr crotron says So it was you, son. I was like, somebody tried to get me to play this. <laughs> They're like, no, just do a clip. What was that, Benny? Say so you would like some fried chicken? I bet you would. Did you guys hear that? It was like a little kitty moan. Are you like dreaming about fried chicken, Benny? Okay, I'm just messing a little bit with like lifting this portion of the edge so that we can get a see like how that just did like we don't want that to actually happen we want the part on the nail to be the most stuck down part not the part on the, like i don't care if it lifts up on the skin that's like hello would you as long as it's like that one's gonna be what and see it's popping up here again my i think my vinyls are just getting old i need to just order some damn new vinyls which sucks because i have a lot left over or maybe it's just these maybe just these got old i feel like this needs to okay Yeah, maybe that's part of it. Like, I pr I got too much contact on the cuticle side, so my cuts were inefficient because it was still pressed down there. So we need to just, like, give them a little lift and then give a little tuck at the chubby sidewall. We'll be all good. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Do you, it's just like it won't. You know what? I'm tempted to just replace this one. Like, I feel like it's just not going to cooperate, but I'll give it one more try. Could you just go where I want you to go and not move? This one, too. Like, could you stay in place? Like they're both so wide now. I need to... Whoa. Whoa. Can I... Mm. better better this one is still wide but we're gonna we're gonna go with it the target detour fourth that's pretty low <laughs> Ooh, kind of to make them more like obviously you wouldn't want them to go too too ham with that because then it would be like gl 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 gluey. Okay, we're we're just gonna we're gonna make this work. We're gonna give them a good press, and then we're just gonna go for it. Um, and we're first gonna put our finger completely in the stem of polish because that's why not? Why why would why would we not do that? Okay. Oh, that's far too much. <sighs> too thick. Okay. Um, okay. And then the turquoise. Let's try not to get it in our cuticles because staining. But we do want to cover all the silver. Okay. Yay. All right. I feel too, you know, it's a bit late to turn back, but I feel like the indigo is maybe a tad thicker than the turquoise. Like maybe if I was smart, I could have uh, done a little thinning beforehand, a little polish thinnering. Thin it thin that's not a word. Thinnering. You know what I mean. Um sorry, I'm blocking you guys quite a bit of the time there, aren't I? But you know, hindsight 2020. Blah blah. Again, got a little heavy there. Let's try to remove some of it like that. Oh, you guys see that uh, that ridge of turquoise there? Okay, can I s 
No, not with that. Maybe with this. Yeah. That helped. Gotta be careful of that. That was too much polish. There. That side's okay, though. Oh, the heat to flex it up more, not just to make the glue warm and sticky. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fairly warm in my room right now. But not as warm as, like, a hairdryer. <laughs> Bean snores. The bean snores are too full, too hilarious. Such a snoozy boy. Okay. It's too heavy. Too glom. better okay okay yeah okay we're almost done you guys <laughs> this is so stressful this doesn't feel centered to me But it's almost centered. I don't I don't think I want to like take it off and try to replace it, so I'm gonna go with it and hope it looks okay. I mean I'm sure it will, it'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> can I have the hello what do they want to do with it <laughs> that's what I want to know oh crap flooded cuticle F can I, can I get an F in chat for the cuticle <laughs> Oh, damn it. Oh, I was doing so good. It's just, it's flooded. These things look like little, little canes. Not like candy canes, but like walking canes. Or like a shepherd's hook or something. Oh, it's stuck inside the tweezers. Would you please get out? Quit going in there. Okay. A crook? Is that what they is that the other thing they call the shepherd a shepherd's crook? For like, you know, grabbing sheep by their neck? I don't know. Why why does the shepherd's hook have a hook? <laughs> Alright, one more. Then clean up, then top coat, then done. And, you know, as, as much as I can still see, like, even in the spots that are a little darker than I really want them to be, like, the, the hollow is still coming through, like, very subtly in some of the blue cases. But I think the water marble with these will turn out really cool.
Okay. One more. Oh, yeah. The two at once is so satisfying. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. <laughs> 500 brackets, courtesy of... I'm going to guess maybe Barney. But I don't know why I always just assume Barney is the main culprit. It could be Virgil. It could be Stella. But I always just assume it's Barney. That does seem a little bit weird. Like, who uses Roman numerals anymore? Do they still... Okay, people with kids. Do they still teach Roman numerals in school? I know they don't teach fucking cursive anymore in a lot of schools, which I think is absurd. Like, I know people don't write that much anymore, but hello. At some point or another, you're probably going to have to sign a check. Or are people just going to start having a... X. <laughs> oh gosh. No, 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 not hiccups. <gasps> hiccups are my bane. Because they sound so absurd and they take so long to go away and then they go away and they come back in like half an hour. Maybe it was just a one off hiccup. That'd be fine. Squid. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, cursive can be hard to read if the person doesn't know what they're doing. But, like, I mean, just as, I mean, I don't know. When are you going to teach people to sign their name if not when learning cursive? Or will signing your name just become okay in like regular... I mean, I feel like that's not a signature. That's just writing your name. You had to learn yours on the streets. Just put squiggles, yeah. So my uncle was saying when we were dealing with the having to sign a lot of stuff for the the estate paperwork, he was like, "Yeah, it doesn't matter what your signature is as long as you always do it the same." <laughs> so yeah, you just can make your own personal unique squiggle and call that your signature. My, I feel like my name is very easy to sign because it all just kind of loops. It's like so. It just ends up being very curly and similar, but I feel like very legible at the same time also. Yeah. Well, too, like, guess what? You could teach typing at the same time also. That's where I learned to type is in school in seventh grade. Like, like literally, I would call that the most useful class I ever had in school. Because typing is kind of important. Of course, now, a lot of people don't even use, like, desktops. Like, a lot of people... I, I, which I just... I I fucking can't relate. Like, I love my desktop. I don't want to do everything on my phone, even if I had a phone capable of doing everything, which, you know, I don't. (laughs) But, like, I don't don't know. I so prefer my desktop. I mean, there are people who do, like, everything on their phone, including, like, editing and stuff. And, like, I I cannot imagine video editing on a phone. 
Are you joking me? Like, no, that doesn't sound pleasant at all. cleanup is complete you guys I think these turned out really good okay we still got a top coat to go you can write in cursive but you can't read it later mm. uh oh I got another eye itch thing going on this time we're going to use the end of a paintbrush like that Yeah, that too. I, I kind of do that a little bit too, Amethyst. Learning. Oh man, I wish I'd had a Photoshop class in school. All, all my Photoshop learning is like, what do I want to do? Google. <laughs> so I have like a very limited photoshop knowledge i feel like like i know photoshop can do so many things like when i see all the options i'm like i don't know what that is for but i don't know how to use it yeah i think just a little the staining in the cuticles does bother me a little bit but if I can keep from sealing it in with top coat which sometimes can be kind of difficult because you guys know I like I love to glom um, it should probably come off like when I wash my hands over the next couple days get in there with the nail brush once it's once it's fully dried and just take care of it and I'm just taking care of some of these little spots under my nail where I apparently touched polish Thanks, you guys. Okay, Dr. Crotron is coming right now. I'm giving it just a second because sometimes, like, after cleanup, I mean, obviously the acetone softens up the polish a little bit. And then if I'm not careful, sometimes that will lead to, like, bleeding or streaking that you might not otherwise get if the polish is mostly dry, which is a, a pain in the butt. So I'm just giving it, like, a second to make sure that all the acetone has evaporated out of my, out of my finger creases. Are you, uh... Is Luke is Luke gonna stream too, Doc? You and Luke co-opness? Nice, Dag. I you know for a while I was journaling every day. I journaled every day for over a year. Um. And then I kind of fell off. And by kind of I mean basically completely. <laughs> No, it's like, I think maybe in the last year I journaled like maybe three times when it was really like, you know, major events that I wanted to purge in a way, you know, get them, just get stuff out of your head, you know, even, even if it's not talking to anybody, just getting them out onto paper. <clears throat> Doss, hell yeah. Yeah, dude, turtle kitty. You remember turtle? Man, I remember you could you learn to do the circle and then if you were real slick, you learned how to do another smaller circle inside and each circle was a different color and then you get the ones on the other side and then you had two little concentric rainbow circles. I'm sorry, I'm old. <laughs> right now he is enjoying Mars time. Is he enjoying Mars time on stream? Is Luke already streaming? Or is Luke just enjoying it offline, which is also permissible? I mean, that's that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, I was I was so into journaling. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys the story, and then I'm gonna do top coat. I was so into journaling, and I had this particular journaling notebook that I liked and it had like this black and white flower pattern on the outside and I was like ooh each journal I'll color in the flowers and and it will be different color schemes and you know they'll they'll you know match but they'll all look different and I went I was going on these journeys like to every target to see if this target each target had this particular journal and I was like stocking up on these journals and that's when I totaled my Buick Regal trying to go to a whole bunch of targets to find a whole bunch of journals and that's when I got rear-ended 
And I'm sitting there, you know, how you are after a car accident, or maybe you're blessed and you've never been in a car accident, you don't know, and you just, as soon as the car accident happens, you start with the what ifs. What if I hadn't made that stoplight? What if I had just decided to go to this Target tomorrow? What if I wasn't fucking obsessed with these stupid notebooks and I wasn't out here, you know, way later than I'm usually out and about? You know, what if, what, it, okay, it doesn't matter. Your your car is smooshed now. <laughs> doesn't really matter why, but yeah, I remember that clearly. And I didn't make it there, and a part of me was like, what if they have the notebooks and they're sold out because I can't drive there because I just got rear-ended? Yeah. Yeah, that was a night. It was like full moon. I got taken to the emergency room and I had to sit in the emergency waiting room for like six hours. I didn't get seen by a doctor until like one or two AM. And then it was funny cause I'm sitting in the waiting room and I kept getting up and like having to go to the bathroom or whatever. And I had like the neck thing on. So you're like this, but then like, as soon as they put you back there, I was like, I, I need to, you know, you got to get onto the thing for the, I forget if it was a CAT scan or a CT scan or MRI or one of those. And it's like, okay, I can do that. They're like, no, you can't move. I'm like, dude, I've literally been walking around the waiting room for the last six hours. I think I'm okay to walk. Well, once you come back here, you can't walk on your own anymore. Logic. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. Oh man, there's targets everywhere. And yet somehow there's still not a target close to me. I hear the siren. It must be nine o'clock. Um, okay, top coat. Our final layer of top coat. This should smooth everything out. We have a little bit of a, I don't know if I even want to call it a valley, but obviously the spot where there's silver does not have the same layer as the spot where there's blue and turquoise, but the top coat should smooth everything out. <clears throat> Once you're finished with any cleanup, you can finish with one more coat of top coat. And today I'm using Hollow Taco Super Glossy Taco. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so good, guys. Oh, my God. Mm, got a little bit of blue on the brush. I'm going to try and make sure that doesn't contaminate the bottle, but... Oh, my God. God, oh, it's good. Like that move, the wrapping, the tip wrapping. Can you guys see that little bit of blue there? Um, let me get this. This is a bit much. And of course, you don't want to tint your taco. So it doesn't, I mean, it's, it's like on the brush. It doesn't look like it's about to wipe off, but I will probably wipe it off shortly here. Like I'll just, I'll pinch, I'll pinch the brush in the paper towel so that it doesn't get weird. Oh man. This is really pretty. Mm. <clears throat> I love it. I love it a little bit more than the water marble because the water marble was such a struggle bus. I'll give you flashlight time once we're all done too. Because this definitely deserves some flashlight time. Let me just wipe the brush off here quick. Let's see, now we're mostly clean again. Do the other hand. Oop. again and like you can wipe it off like a little bit it's almost like a stain 
more than an actual glama polish from the, the tip wrapping motion. I don't know why that's more... I guess you're kind of... You end up with more pressure uh, actually against the brush. Like on the nail, see, and I just wiped it off there and it's still a little bit stained. I'm going to have to do that a couple times. Like on the nail, I usually for the most part, like, oh my God, that was my stomach, float the brush. Like the brush is not touching the nail, but wrapping the tip, that's a little harder to do. So... Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Oops, put hand in wet top coat because that's the corner that I wiped the brush off on. <laughs> oh, man. You guys, though, I just, I just realized something. And it's minor. Whoa. Oh, you're dry already. I just bashed my nails into my microphone, but it's okay because quick dry top coat there we go now it's I see a tiny hint of it still on there but it's mostly mostly wiped off now just want to make sure that it's clean before you like stick it back in there for storage um what the hell do I call this <laughs> I mean day three blue and silver stilettos i don't know i think most people when they hear stilettos in regards to nails they think of pointy nails stupid freaking vowel changes for humor's sake are you saying he's putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable <laughs> I heard one bark out of Clark, and then she was quiet. Quiet. <laughs> yeah. 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 I. I always. <laughs> I appreciate your knowledge of words when I'm like, is this a word? Is this a word? How do I say this? Mm. Modern ice. You know, it does have kind of some icy vibes. We could call it icicle inspired. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that after I cut stream and make another trip to the bathroom and uh, then record the intro and outro. Art, it, you know, it do, it does have an Art Deco feel and it does have an ornament feel. Art, oh, how about how about Art Deco icicles? Okay, right now Art Deco icicles is leading in my what am I naming this manicure? I like it. Yeah, yeah. You go get started. Oh, God, where is a button to just get back to the regular goddamn front screen? Okay, I don't like that. I don't... Dr. Crotron, just so you know, I don't know, you might already be gone. You have to use the new fucking dashboard today. And there's no button to go go right directly to my, to my followed channels from here, or I'm missing it. Like, I just want to go to... Okay, let's just... Okay, we're going to manually do this like this. Oh, okay. Don't try to type with wet nails. We're going to use a tool. Oh, listen to that. Ting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you still have it up, like, don't refresh and maybe you'll be okay for a couple days. But yeah, today's the day. It's, uh, yeah, today's the fucking game. Today's the fucking day. I'm, I'm reading and looking and seeing, like, I'm going to assume Doc needs probably a couple more minutes to get going. So that means that unless I see like somebody doing nail art, which I do not. Oh no. 
Okay. Now, usually... Usually, our raid message is simple little raid. But I don't like Luke's title. And so, number one... Oh, gosh. Number one... Oops. If you're new and you'd like to join my Discord, please feel free. Uh, number two, we're gonna go raid Luke. And number three, the the raid message is That's our that's our raid message. Okay. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'm thrilled with this. This this, you know, I really like the ornaments. I really liked this. I don't know which one is my favorite, but I I I'm really I'm really digging how this turned out. I'm very very pleased with it. Oh, flashlight time. Flashlight time. Before the raid goes off. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you have a lovely evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. Oh, oh if you're not having a good one, just, just clip this and look at it. And just re repeat it and just look at it and go, you know what? <sighs> oh, God, I swear to God, it's like a drug. Hollow is a drug. See your local nail polish dealer for more hollow. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Pew, pew. Oh, Colette, with the raid. Hello, everyone. Oh, and I unlocked some emotes. So, of course, YouTube as well. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys get a little bit of bonus flashlight time because, you know, extra outro. But uh, the tutorial for this should already be up. And if you'd like to check that out, I'll try to include an info thingy. And yeah, seven, not seven, nine. Nine more days to go after this in my 12 days of Christmas nail art. Hope you'll check those out as well. I hope you enjoyed and... As always, thanks for watching.